What is up, my retail fam? <laughs> it's your boy, Mike. I'm at you from. You already know. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Where the chemtrails are out here in my backyard. And no, that's not a UFO, okay? Now, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. And you can like and subscribe. You can keep on scrolling. Or you can hang out for a couple of minutes. Now, before I even get started, what I want to do is I want to share some information that's absolutely amazing, okay? I got a phone call today. And that phone call was from none other than Juan and Natalie. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you know who Juan and Natalie are. Natalie right now is currently fat, uh, battling. She has a battle. She's been in the hospital. But I want to say, you're absolutely amazing. It's an absolute pleasure and a blessing to speak with you today. You made my day. You're a rock star. And keep fighting. Do not give up. You're a strong, strong woman. And Juan, uh, her father, if you don't know, he's an absolutely uh, amazing man. And, and just thank you for letting me be part of your your close, close uh, knit circle and being there in in the ways that I possibly can. And thank you for your support. So again, to you, Juan and Ali, it's been an absolute blessing. And thank you for the phone call. It was an absolute pleasure. You made my weekend. And just Nat Natalie, you're an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Okay. Now, let me get to what I want to talk about. Now, I want to talk about the debt ceiling. Okay. Now, this past Thursday, if you don't know, we hit the debt ceiling. Now, we have until about early June, somewhere in the summertime, but roughly about early June to actually make amends, which is pretty much raising the debt ceiling. Okay. Now, failure to do so will drop into a full blown recession. Now, I, I got to say this. Even though they're saying we're going to drop into a full-blown recession, we are already in a recession. We're in a deep recession. We are entrenched in the nasty one, okay? I don't care what they tell you on TV. I don't care what people are saying in the news that we're looking for soft landing. The, the, the fact of the matter is that it's not going to be soft landing. They're not going to tell you the truth. And the retail investor is always last to know. Now, there's, there's always somebody out there saying, well, what does this have to do with AMC? What does it have to do with the GameStop? What does it have to do with our short squeeze and all this other stuff? Okay, it has everything to do because if the markets start to push down, obviously things can become catastrophic. And, you know, it, it comes up to liquidity issues. But there's people out there say if we have a market crash or a market meltdown, a market collapse, AMC and GameStop have no choice but to push to the upside. Now, I got to say this. There's many things that can play in a part in a short squeeze, okay? Also, you got to be very careful. Just because the market starts to sell off or the market goes to the downside, doesn't mean that AMC and GameStop are going to just push up automatically. Now, do I believe in a short squeeze? Yes, absolutely 100%. It's only going to be a matter of time until we get paid, okay? Now, I know we've been in this for two years and on and on, okay? But I do believe in 100% in a short squeeze. But there's other things that can affect AMC and GameStop. And this, by chance, has to be one of them, which is the debt ceiling. Now, the last time we've been at these levels are close to, you know, this being uh, as catastrophic as it may be. It's been 2011, just after the financial crisis, you know, obviously with the housing market. Okay. Now, the closer that we get to June, which is, uh, you know, what summertime, I guess you would say, that stocks will probably sell off and it will have um, a negative reaction in the market. Now, even though there's going to be a negative reaction, news, any news coming out with the debt ceiling is going to push stocks up, going to push stocks down until there's a solution. It's going to be very volatile. There's going to be a lot of instability in the market as well as flare ups. OK, now, one thing I do want to say this, if there is a default by chance, you're going to see something. It's not even going to be a recession. It's going to be like Great Depression uh, on a global scale. It's going to be really nasty. So this is something they want to prevent. And usually, at, you know, at the 12th hour, or the 23rd hour, which you want to call it, they end up coming up with a solution. And it's pretty much raising the debt ceiling. OK, so again, my retail fam, I just want to give you a heads up, even though the market and for me, it's 2023 is going to be much worse than 2022. We're in for a short excuse when it comes to AMC and GameStop. You throw ape in there. That's fine whether you say yes or no for the conversion of the reverse stocks, but we're not talking about that. But 2023 is going to have a massive impact on all their lives. And, and more than likely, it's going to be negative, okay? Cash is king. The retail investors always lost to know. And as well as the fact that I believe in the short squeeze, nothing hasn't changed. But the, this, this does affect AMC and GameStop, okay? The market pushes it down. It will push down AMC and GameStop. And that's all I have to say. Now, one last thing before I get out of here. Again, shout out to you, Natalie, but also Japan. Japan hit its 40 year high when it came to inflation or when it comes to inflation this past week. Very bad news. Okay. Have a great day. Enjoy the games. I shall see everybody very soon. Take it easy. Peace.